Here in this tutorial example, we want to solve these problems. Integrate sine square half x dx and the other one. Now, for us to integrate sine, integrate sine square half x dx, we need to use uh, the, you know, the uh, trigonometric quantity, I mean, call, sorry, trigonometric uh, identity that we are familiar with. Uh, in our, one of our previous videos, we discussed something like uh, cos x sin x. So let's try to relate what we have learned in those trigonometric identities to the value given to us to integrate them. Recall, let's recall that. Recall, we recall cos x is um, cos uh, x all over 2 plus x all over 2. Yes, we will split this. You know, it will be this. How? All right. You know, if I it just, I mean, I'm saying that if I have, if I had the half of x to half of x, it will be old. It will, it will be one over, a one old number. It will be x. Okay. So I've, I've divided x by, I'm finding the halves of it now. So half x, half x is one x, and this x. All right. So if I expand, cos x uh, 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 all over two plus x all over 2, I will have from my addition angle formula, I will have cos half x cos half x minus sine half x sine half x. Yes. So, which implies this will be cos square this will be cos square half x minus sine square half x beautiful now remember my target is to get sine square half x so that means i would have to eliminate this cos square half x how do i do that now say recall again recall uh, cos square half x plus sine square half x is equals to one from cos square h plus sine square x equals to one so from here now making cos square half x solve a formula we have Cos square half x will be 1 minus sine square half x. So if I have this as my equation 1, and I have this as equation 2, I can now substitute. I can now substitute this up. Okay? I can now substitute. How do I substitute? Now, I mean, I want to eliminate, uh, I don't want cos square half x. So let me now substitute. Putting equation 2 into one so by the time i put equation two though, that's cos square half x now remember we are starting from here cos x is what gives us this don't forget don't forget cos x is what gives us uh, this result so i will now have what i will now have therefore cos x will be cos square half x is now what one minus sine square half x. one minus sine square half x sine square half x then minus sine square half x okay so the next thing is now to ever evaluate which is going to be what cos x will now be 1 minus 2 sine square half x i hope you understand minus sine square half x minus the 2 so from here now to get sine square half x i will i'll bring this on the other side and give up 2 sine square half x you know equals to one minus cos x i hope you understand what i've just done there i just uh you know change the position of uh, cos x and uh, sine square half x so which implies that sine square half x now if i divide both sides by two be one minus cos x all over two which is same as half into one minus cos x I hope you understand. So invariably now, what I want to integrate is now what? Therefore, the question is now what? I want to integrate half of 1 minus cos x dx. That is what I want to, you know, uh, integrate. Which could be what? If I expand now, it will be expansion of half, because half times 1 is half, minus half cos x or dx. That is exactly what I've transformed sine square half x into. So, I cannot have, so if I integrate, um, 
If I integrate uh, half, you know half is a constant. If I integrate half with respect to uh, x, you start with the x. So I have what half x. Let me let me quickly keep in something. If I have if I ask you to integrate uh, the x, you know the x is a differential coefficient of x. There is no numerical value here, no integer, no nothing like a number there. So the answer will be x plus c. Okay, yes. So we are integrating with respect to x alone. So x plus c. If it were two dx now, it will be 2x plus c. If it were three dx, it will be 3x plus c. Okay? So this one will now become half x. So because we, when you expand this now, when you expand it, it's like saying you are it's like saying that half dx minus you understand half cos x dx. That is the meaning of this. So half dx is half x like I've explained there, then minus a, a half, you know, if, it, if you integrate cos x, which we have done before, it will be what? Sin x, don't forget that, sin x. Then we had our constant, we had our constant, so that is the result. Then we had our constant, so we are done with the first problem. We are done with the first problem, so that solves the problem, okay? Now let's look at the second problem. Let's look at the second problem. Now, the second problem, uh, which I've, I've cleaned the second problem, but we can you know, read from here. Now, from the given problem solution, we are told that um, d square y all over ds square is equal to is equal to 6x minus 4. I believe we can still remember that uh, this is an area derivative. So that is, when y is differentiated twice, the result is 6x over, uh, 6x minus 4. So now if, we, and the question says we should find uh, y. We have to find y, fine. For us to find y, that means we have to integrate twice as well. Yes, you know, this is a differential value that, that was differentiated twice. So we also integrate twice, okay? By the time we first of all integrate, we say integral of uh, the square y, the x square, we want to integrate both sides, 6x minus 4, obviously this one will have the x, whether you put it there or not, but let's just say, okay, 6x minus 4. Now, so by the time we now integrate, I told you earlier, this integral sign will cancel this d, so we have dy dx will now be what? Integral, you now integrate this now, but when you are integrating this, don't forget you what? You extract the 6, 6 dot x1 plus 1 all over 2 minus 4x. Ah, you, you're confused. No, 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 don't be confused. This is a constant, 6. It's a number, you bring it out. Now, this x variable, you say, you know, x is x is power 1. So, and generally, when we are integrating, when we integrate x, n, I said it will be x, n plus 1 all over n plus, that is, you are going to add 1 to the index number here and divide the result by this the value, this new value. So 6 is a number, extract it out, then x, after it has this power 1, say 1 plus that 1 you are had is a constant, okay? 1 plus 1, then all over, the result of 1 plus 1 is 2. Then minus, you know, 4 is a constant. It doesn't have a variable x. Like I've just uh, this, uh, explained there, when you are integrating a constant, you have to add x to it, okay? So it will be what? It will be 4x. So now here we have to put 3x is power 2 minus 4. So that is what, uh, uh, sorry, minus 4x. So that is what that gives us. That is, the y dx now is 3x squared minus uh, 4x. And in the equation, in the equation, yeah, y dx is 3x squared minus 4x. We are told that the y dx is 3. Further, when y is equal to 0, the y dx is 3. That's the question for us. The y dx is 3. Okay, don't forget we have to add our constant. Okay, don't forget about that. Because we are differentiating, uh, we are doing, we are, we are carrying out a indefinite integration. So we are told that the y dx is what? It's 3. So let's plug it there. When x is equal to 0, fine. So that is not by substitution. The y dx is 3. When x is equal to 0, 3 multiplied by 0 squared minus 4 of 0 plus c. That's, it. That's the condition given to us in the problem. 
So this will be what? 3 is equal to 0 minus 0 plus C. That means our C is 3. That means our C is 3. So in that, in that, in that situation now, this now implies that uh, the Y, the X now, will be what? 3X squared minus 4X plus 3. The constant C that we are adding, or we have added, is now 3. So we write it out, like that, like that. Okay? So imply, this now means that, uh, this now means that, this means, by driving cross multiply, you know we have to, we have, our target is to get Y. So here now, we can cross multiply and say, the Y is equal to 3X squared minus 4X plus 3 dx. Beautiful. Yes? So now integrate to get y because our target is to get y. So integrate again. Integral the y is equal to integral, uh, int you know, 3x squared minus 4x plus 3dx. Okay? So when I told you, if you integrate this d, this d is a derivative, it's a, it's a special coefficient. If you cancel it out and you have y, okay? Now, this one's. There are fast way of doing it. If you want to really find it easy or do it in a very best I and mean, easiest way, bring out three, then integrate x squared plus one, two plus one, all over two plus one is three, then minus four, x is for one plus one all over two, because it has a power one plus one, all over one plus one is two, then plus three, you know, three is a, is, is a constant. And you are integrating with respect to the x, so to have 3x. Then plus c, you still need your plus c. Yes. So, y will now become what? This we cancel this. We have x to the power 3 minus this we cancel this. We have 2. 2x to the power 2 plus uh, 3x plus c. Now, in the question, uh, we are told that we are told that uh, okay, uh, we, are, we, are, we are given another condition uh, for us to solve the problem. He said, but this time around now, we could decide to use another constant so that it won't be C all, all true. Let's use D. Let's use D. Yeah. So as not to mislead ourselves. Now, since y is equal to zero, because in our in our condition we are told that further, y is equal to zero. So we'll be using y equals to zero, x equals to zero from the given condition. So that will be zero equals to x is zero. Zero q minus two times zero squared plus three and zero. Plus, uh, you know, D. Yes. I hope you are not uh, confused. I introduced another constant here simply because I want it to be different from the constant I introduced there. Both C and D, they are the same thing. But for all, us to understand further, because we are to, we have to integrate twice. We have integrated once. We are now integrating for the second time. So the constant we are using for the second time will be different. So I will not be confusing ourselves. That's why I introduced that. Uh, another constant d okay i believe that is understood so and why how did i see this zero and this zero you know initially from the statement from the problems we are told that further y is zero when x is zero so anytime each time you put y to be zero x will be zero that's why we are putting out that there okay so here now what you have what for us to get uh, d d is now zero but from here everything is zero because zero minus zero plus zero plus d so the constant we have just introduced now is zero. Since that constant is zero, therefore, we now go back to the expression that contains y equals to something. y is uh, s cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus zero. So that is y equals to s cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x. So that is uh, what we are required to find. So with this, we have come to the end of the, of the question. So do well to click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be duly notified. And don't hesitate to ask questions uh, further in the comment section. God bless you.